Welcome to Sculpture Studios. You're joining us for something that we take on from time to time here at the workshop, life casting and body moulds. Here we have a client called Lucia who wants to create something special of herself for her husband-to-be. Now I know that you reprobates have been lured in by a particular thumbnail by which we're more than happy to share the end result. As you can appreciate though, due to the nature of the project and being a little sceptical of YouTube's regulations to actual nudity, we're preserving our client's modesty for the mould making process. However, the final sculpture will leave very little to the imagination anyway, and in the name of art, and the fact that you're technically only going to be looking at a rather lovely fiberglass cast, the final nude sculpture meets YouTube's rules, and so here we are. The project starts with our client choosing a pose that A. She would like to see the finished sculpture positioned in, and B. A pose that she would feel comfortable holding for a while whilst the mould is being taken. Aiden goes over the majority of her upper thighs, torso, shoulders and a little down the arms with plaster bandage. The sculpture, though not a complete full body cast, is still going to be fully round, seen from both the front and the back and so the plaster mould has been made in two pieces. Once the mould pieces have been removed and left to dry, Aiden then goes in with a release agent and a gel coat of resin. This is then backed up with glass fibre to create a lightweight but durable cast made in a front and back section. The excess fibreglass material is then trimmed and the two pieces are laminated together from the inside. It's then a long process of cleaning up the exterior of the cast more and more, both to fill in the seam line so there are no visible joins, as well as smoothening the surface to remove all of the texture from the plaster bandage. This is achieved using car body fillers and repeating the process until we're happy with the overall finish. This plaster bandage root option is a lower cost and affordable option, with the alternative being an alginate rubber mould with a plaster jacket. Though it would be more expensive, this would achieve a much higher detail mould that requires less cleaning up later. But to keep the cost down for our client, as well as the fact that she's young and has a smooth body with very little surface detail that needs to be captured, the plaster bandage route is a suitable option. One could argue, however, that a fair chunk of the cost for the alginate rubber is now simply going into the manpower required to clean up from the plaster bandage, so it's a few different things to consider. To complete the form and make it look as though it's more of a solid piece, the openings in the arms and legs are being filled, having a layer of glass fibre applied, and the car body filler is sculpted to look as though it has a broken stone look, similar to that of the Venus de Milo. The initial intended finish is going to be a bronze paint effect, which will help give the sculpture a weighted, more solid look also. Once the surface has reached a level that Aiden's happy with, a primer layer of a black satin goes on first before the bronze paint effect finish. Been over this figure now about seven or eight times. Still a few more little pinpricks in here, little uh, spot holes we need to touch up um, and just correct a little bit more on the base. She's looking quite nice now. Uh, yeah, this is a really he like heavy primer filler. We've done it black just in case, in case it gets scratched and there's black underneath the, like underneath the actual bronze. It's taking shape. The more I look around it, the more I can see just very, very small imperfections or scratches. But um, I'm gonna put this under like really a bright light before I go ahead and do the bronzing and then work down to about 1200 like wet and dry. That's coming along. In the base I've got a pole running right up through the centre and down here. So that's nice and solid. Uh, supply box and we've filled it up with resin and stones. Give it a bit of gravitas to the whole thing. I'll take you around the back of it so you can see. It's a nice curve to the back. I think it's quite a nice pose she's chosen in, in essence. Legs slightly open and the arms up. Looking good all round, I think. I hope she's going to be happy with it. Here on the figure, the shine is coming from the paint being freshly applied. 
but once it dries, it mutes itself to a smoother looking satin sheen. Though the intended finish was initially a bronze theatrical paint effect, seeing the figure in this soft, smooth black made the client change their mind about how they wanted it to look. This is quite often the case, particularly when it comes to more personal art, where sometimes seeing something in front of you just helps make that decision more so than the image that was just in your mind. Over the years, we've had numerous clients come down to the studio for body moulds for numerous different purposes. Sometimes it's for a commercial project, something like our Art Deco Lady Lamps, and other times it's for more personal reasons. We've had clients wanting to make themselves feel better about their own body image, clients like this where they have something artistic in mind, and others simply curious about the process. Who knows, maybe they saw it online, like you guys are watching now, and it's been something they've always wanted to have done. I have a funny feeling that Lucia here, as well as the sculptural side, has had this in mind for quite a while now, so we're really glad that she found us and was comfortable enough to come down to have something created. This project was originally commissioned coming out of lockdown here in the UK. Since taking the finished piece and enjoying this in a black satin in their home for around six months, Lucia and her husband have now come back to us at the studio wanting to update the sculpture. They would like this in a gold finish, not so much a chrome gold but a gold spray, whereby the shine unfortunately emphasises any imperfections more so than the flat black. This means of course that before being sprayed gold, you guessed it, a significant amount of cleaning up is once again required. We're also going to be significantly upgrading the base, whereby we're creating a floor standing plinth that's going to resemble a black marble. This is achieved by a lot of finishing, a good eye and a hand at air brushing, and you can see how the process just brings a whole new look to the sculpture. One of the things we enjoyed most about this project was how the same piece of sculpture could be shown off in two very different styles, and we'd like to thank our client for allowing us to showcase these on our channel. The understated satin black as a last minute decision at the start of the project, to the latter more extravagant gold, a matter of personal preference is always a topic of discussion when it comes to personal art, and we'd love to know your guys' thoughts at home. Who knows, in another six months time or even a couple of years down the line, the client could easily come back to us and say they want to revert back to the initial black, go for the bronze that was originally intended or come up with a new idea for the finish entirely. That's the beauty of personal art, sometimes a taste or a style might change or sometimes you simply want to give something a fresh new look. We'd like to thank Lucia for coming to us with her project, and also to her friend who accompanied her on the day to assist Aidan with the original mould. If this has inspired anyone watching now with an idea of their own, perhaps a body mould or a life cast piece of sculpture, please get in touch as we'd love to hear what you have in mind. We're always appreciative to know what you guys think of our projects and our channel, so please feel free to drop a comment below and by all means subscribe and give us a follow on social media. A big thank you to all of our patrons who support our projects and the creation of our videos, we love having you guys on board. And if you'd like to support our family run studio, you can find our Patreon details below. However big or small, it's greatly appreciated from all of us here at Sculpture Studios. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.